Looks like it's dried out here too. Thank you for bringing all these lovely people. Did you see him? <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, the cat. I was here last when I was eight years old, mm -hmm. and the thing that sticks out in my mind returning mm -hmm. is the picture of the man on the altar who is a Taoist priest, and my drawing style reflects what I saw in him when I was eight years old. His elongated head and his strange presence. When I was around 10 years old, I used to build tree forts here in the eucalyptus trees. And this is eucalyptus bark, it sheds a lot. One day I came to my tree fort and it was burnt down. I asked some local adults and they said that a bank robber had taken over the tree fort while I was gone and that there had been a shootout and the police had set the whole fort on fire. That was the end of my tree fort days. Right here. So when I was 10, 12 years old, we arrived late for Mass at the Catholic Church behind me. So my mother stood us in front of the locked doors of the church and said, It's okay, my children. I know you didn't go to Mass on Sunday, so I will accept the mortal sin for you. We're missing Mass. Adjusting. <laughs> okay, so I said, well, how can I have the two things combined? My love of magic tricks and my love of making furniture and wood things. So what I did was at that moment come up with the idea of building my own theater. So like anybody in their right mind who has no money wouldn't say, oh, I'm gonna build a theater. But I did, so I started walking down the streets of Berkeley Warehouse and I went into this building here and there was a guy in there and I said, I wanna build a theater next to you. It looks like there's an empty building there. The guy said, well, you know, it's this much rent. I said, I don't have any money. And he said, and you're gonna do a what? And I said, yeah. Through the force of will, I convinced him that I would put up drywall and build out and put plumbing and even put in a restroom if he bought all the materials and let me then have a couple months free rent after I built out this space, which he said, oh, I'll go along with that. So I started lifting the drywall, the sheetrock and building from dumpster stuff I found and built him a whole bathroom outside right over there. And now, now if you look at the space, all my stuff is gone. I mean, basically, what we have here is an empty lot. However, that was where Wonder Wish was. Right there. And what about those letters? Um, when did you put that's them? the only thing that remains of my theater is my... Um, Dude, that clicking is so annoying. It's right there. It is my 2741 cutout letters. 
as a memento of where Wonderwish Magic Theater was in the year 1972. And we're now in 2012. Come here. disassembled it, it was buried in this dump here, which is now filled with other sculptures. But underneath all of this are the walls, the pieces of Wonder Wish Magic Theater, which started the activation of this from a landfill dump to a place of art and transformation, just like Wonder Wish was about transformation also. Awesome. Hey, everything is remain there for at least uh, the rest of the day, the past of the day and maybe the rest of the day. Yes. It bore fruits which fed humanity. But some of humanity ate of the fruit that was too much. And they thought that they were gods. And they lost their humility. And they lost their understanding of a higher power above them. They broke the rule. Exactly right. In 1972, I had to disassemble Wonderwish. And as I disassembled it, it was buried in this dump here, which is now filled with other sculptures. But underneath all of this are the walls, the pieces of Wonderwish Magic Theater, which started the activation of this from a landfill dump to a place of art and transformation, just like Wonder Wish was about transformation also. Hey, everything is remain there for at least uh, the rest of the day, the past of the day, and maybe the rest of the day. Yes. Uh, it bore fruits which fed humanity but some of humanity ate of the fruit that was too much and they thought that they were gods and they lost their humility and they lost their understanding of a higher power above them. They broke the rule. Exactly right. Very